Hello there YouTube, this is DIY Electronics and um, today I'm going to be talking about the function generator um, that I bought, the FG500. Um, in a video I tried to make, I tried to modify the power supply so I could run um, the function generator off a of power supply and I didn't have the appropriate um, jack to plug in and um, this was the jack, it was a micro um, jack and what happens in this jack and I didn't realize it until after I modified and tried it and ended up blowing one of the capacitors on the board you know a bunch of smoke coming out but um what I did was when I tried to wire it up the way I did I actually connected the power supply to the battery and the the, the capacitor was only rated for 16 volts and um, I in turn really combined my 12 volt power supply that I got hooked up with the 9 volt battery and exceeded the limits of this. Um, and thank God this blew or it would have uh, burned up my chip there because it's only rated for 18 volts max and that would have been 12 plus 9 so we're talking 21 volts roughly and you know plus or minus a little bit. Um, Anyways, I figured out the problem. The problem is when when you plug something into this jack, um, what it does is it moves one of these little arms in here and disconnects one of these two power wires. And when nothing's plugged into the jack, both the red and white wire are connected. So when you plug something in, it disconnects the red and white wire, in turn disconnecting the battery from the circuit and then just lets you feed power from the white wire or your jack to the board. Um, what I did was I tried to connect the white and red wire and hook up my power supply to it, you know, adding the voltages together, and that's what caused the problem. But uh, I replaced the capacitor with a 50 volt 1000 UF capacitor. Um, I didn't have a 16 volt one, but it, it voltage doesn't really matter as long as the capacitance is the same but um I figured out the problem so if you guys ever run into the fact that you need to modify your power supply for your function generator um, in order to use your battery you're gonna have to connect the white and red wire together and in order to use your external power supply you're gonna have to disconnect the red and white wire and just connect your power supply to your white wire and ground I hope that helps somebody out there. Um, it does work. I'm running off of um, my external power supply, as you can see. Um, function generator is connected, and we're producing a wave here. Um, my voltage delta is 31.8 volts, and um, my voltage for the top of the wave is 12 volts from zero. So um, it's working. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to put this back together and uh, give a demonstration on how it actually works in another video. Thanks.